It's me. 524. <laughs> Jumping into action, and today we're doing a YouTube trivia video. Thank you so much for liking the last one. I think this theory. I think it was really fun. And I was recording. I didn't even get the bus doing the headband, but I'm just with that one that's coming up eventually. Hello, I'm Barry, and you're watching Underground YGO with Spidey and Kisame. And this one, uh, we're gonna bring it back to the old web. I'm gonna ask this, I'm gonna pick out a Yu-Gi-Oh! season or event in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm gonna make, ask him 10 questions about it. And hopefully he gets them right. I think, I was gonna say the loser should do like 10 push-ups or something like that, just to see what you're doing with it, but you're tired, I'm not bothering you that much. We'll come up with something creative next time. Don't forget to comment down below other suggestions of what you think should happen if you lose You put tape on my face. <laughs> and I think that so come up with some inconvenience of the person who loses. Like if he can't get like seven out of ten right, then you know he wins, he passes. But if he can't, if he can't, then like I have to do something. Like, guys, come up with that. Um, but now like the video, comment down below. Also, don't forget, to, <laughs> don't forget to also hit me up for other questions, things like that that you want me access for and answers. <laughs> that way we do. But this video, I am doing the Yu-Gi-Oh into the virtual realm. I'm asking you, take questions about that. Which one, the one with Noah or the one? Noah. Not the other one, that capsule monster. I'm gonna do that, that's one. first, this season one, like the okay. Blue Kingdom, I was gonna go straight into season two. I'm like, no, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm I'm going back. If I, want this, I don't want you to just watch and then be like, I know who's coming next. I already know what's Well, I don't know that much about the virtual arc. I think I saw it like twice. Oh, I just finished watching it. So now I got all, none of my I'm questions sure. are from the internet. All these questions are from my brain that I came up with from watching that entire series that I just finished yesterday. So you can name all five of the big five. But can you name the very first one that you be faced? Um. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, run. <laughs> Can't run from this. Can't run from the truth. Um, I want to say it's like I did, don't like take it like right when I say it, but it's like uh, I want to say it's like friendly or like um. <laughs> Remember the Kramer? The Kramer. Kramer. Well, that's something. Um. Ten seconds. Grimsley? I don't know. I know that's not his name. Gansley. Can you at least remember? It was, at least, it was close enough. It was really close, but still no cigar. Can you at least name who was his deck master that he was? Deep Sea Warrior? Yes, he was. There you go. I'll give you that. Half a point, maybe. Maybe you remember this card. This is when I wrote it down, I'm like, oh, this would be a good question. But then I was like, he made me. I know this one. What was Kaiba's nickname for Mokubo when they were kids? question in there. I, I'm surprised you actually knew that. I actually thought that was really difficult because I actually did not know they that. They said it a bunch of times throughout the rest of this. I, I wrote it when he first said it. I was like, oh, they're probably never going to mention this again. It'll be a really good deep dive. But then as that season went on, he kept saying it because they kept doing those flashbacks. Mm. They were like, Mokey, Mokey, Mokey. And they kept calling Mokey, them. Mokey. Yeah, mm. so I figured you'd get that one. Question number three, and I know you won't get this one. How tall is Taya Gardner? They say that? Yep. <laughs> Taya Gardner. Yep. I don't know, 5'2". Wrong. I'll give you one more. Five one. No. Nope. Five five. That's such... she. She says it in the episode where she duels the um penguin guy. In the second part of it, because he's like, oh, I want your body. You're a five by five. And blah, blah, blah. And he goes like all of her descriptions. Like you are the perfect specimen. I don't know. That, that that I think is so like stupid. It's a stupid question. It's a stupid question. It's a stupid question. How dare you ask me something like that? How tall are you, midget? <laughs> Who was Serenity's deck master? Yeah, I love these questions. Because now when I watch this shit and I can do it myself versus leaning on the internet, oh, I love it. Oh, I love seeing him squirm. Last time he was like, I'm a Yugi tuba. I'm so tall. I live this shit. Look at him. It's the worst fucking series out of the original. Pick the worst one. Um, I think I know what it is, but I don't know its name. It's like that card that looks like the Witch of the Black Forest. 
but like has like the eye on its like head. I think the one that like it's like the one that does polymerization effect. Like I don't know. It's, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what its name. I'll, is. I'll give you a half a point. It was Goddess with the Third Eye. Okay. Yes, which is the one that has the third eye and it does act as a fusion substitute if you fusion as a fusion material. Okay. I think you have a point. So far, the one point out of three. Question number five. How did Shadow earn his last name? He beat Goza Burrow and, like, like took the company from him. But he beat him in the chess game and then that's how he, like, got adopted and got the last name. No, that's how he got That's how he got adopted. He didn't get the last name then. Goza Burrow Kyber said, you have to do something for me. Then that's how you get the last name and you get my company. Oh, so it was like he basically like gave him like the money and basically told him like flip the money until I got like ten million and out of the, instead of the two million I think he gave him. That is correct. Okay. I wrote down like the, specifically what he did, okay. but that was but that is the answer because basically he told him to, to buy a business that lives. Um, so basically, what kind of that was the that was the mission. Mm-hmm. But you know what Kaiba ended up doing, right? He ended up like taking Kaiba Corp from him. No, no, no. Look, remember he said you have to buy a company, make ten times the money, and that's how you get it. Mm-hmm. You remember like the company that he bought. That, that that's where it's funny. Kaiba bought. He said the first thing you want to do is you want to buy a company where they love their employees. Mm. And I was like, oh, what a sweet thing! And he bought this company that loved all their employees. And he's like, basically said, buy your company back for ten ten times the amount I just bought it for. I'm gonna fly everybody. And he was like, well, what? And you didn't say that. So he basically strong armed them, the force them because he basically said, you love your employees so much, give me ten times the money, or they're all fired, they're all losing their jobs. This company's going under. He's like, he was such a dick that entire season. Mm-hmm. If you really think about it, Noah died, and then they was basically like, they made fun of him the entire season. Like, yo, the kid's dead. Y'all are, like ripping on this dead kid. Like, this is really sad when you think about it. Question number six. What card did Joey use to save Yugi against a five-headed dragon? Dark Flare Knight? No, that's what Yugi said. The card that Joey used to save Yugi when Five Headed Dragon was going to attack him. Silver Dollar. Oh, I would have never gotten I know that. I had to make one harder. Because I know like, some of these you were going to get. I had to make some harder than the others. <laughs> Just to make sure. Mm-hmm. But it was Silver Dollar. But yes, they did do Dark Flare Knight, but that wasn't, that was like Yugi did that later on. Because I think after that turn, but after that very same turn, when it was Yugi's turn, that's when he used um, the magical hats and everything. And then that's when he fused them together. Then they made Mirage Knight. Mm-hmm. I would have asked, how did he beat Noah? But I don't even want, I don't think you remember that. What was Noah's deck master? Uh, Shinado's Ark. That is correct. I thought you were going to say that Shinado was the monster. It was the, it was the actual ritual spell card. Well, I thought most people got confused because it ended up being the, the, the monster, but it was actually the spell card. So good, good, good points for that one. See, I always give an easy one, now I'm going to give a hard one. <laughs> How much life points did the duel between Yugi and Noah start at? I know Noah's was like fucking like off the charts. I know it was like fucking, I don't know what. I know Yugi had like a less than a thousand. So that, that, that I can't give you specifics, but I know that Yugi was under a thousand, and I know Noah's was over fucking six, seven thousand. Mm-hmm. Then that's all I know. That's it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt. I, I'll, I'll say for Yugi maybe three hundred, and Noah I'll say eighty seven hundred. I don't know. That's really really close. Yugi had four hundred. Okay. And Noah had seventy four. So. So he was really really close. Yeah, at least you knew that it was like off. Okay, so you knew that you came and took over for Gaiba. Yes. Okay, you remember that. I mean, yeah, it's something. It's not that bad. Gozaburo sent a bunch of monsters to keep Yugi and his friends busy while he dueled Kaiba. What monsters did Yugi summon to fight those monsters? It's only three cards. I have no idea. I don't even remember that. It's like when they were running to the, um, when Noah was like, come to the thing because the world's getting ready to blow up. And his- I have no idea. I don't even remember that. It's like when they were running to the um, and Noah was like, "Come to the thing, cause the world's getting ready to blow up, and just come to the thing." Like they were like trying to run to the video game center so they wouldn't go back home to the real bodies. I don't know. I'll, I'll and then say, they had to fight monsters on the way there. I'll say Curse of Dragon, Celtic Guardian, Dark Magician. I don't know. You got two out of three. You got two out of three. You have Curse of Dragon right, and you have Dark Magician right. There's one more card. I'll give you one guess. 
He could have used it in a duel, but he didn't, but then he eventually summoned it out of nowhere when they were running from those monsters. So that was question number nine. We are moving on to the last question. You are probably going to get this one right, or maybe you'll know of the card, but may not know the card's name. What card did Kyber use to defeat Gozomoro's Zodiac uh, Necros? Um... Did he use Soul Release? No. Mm. He didn't use Return from the Different Dimension. Nope. Was it like a card that like has like it, it's like I, it's like I, it looks like like a stick with like clean like things like sticking out of it? I don't know the name of it, but I think I know that. Do you remember what his effect did? If you can name the effect, I'll give you the point. I mean, I assume it like removed the card from the graveyard from play. Mm, yes, technically. It was so okay. demolition. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the cards from the graveyard, pay 500 life points for each card. He had 26, so he... But I know he card. removed them from the, like, from the graveyard that, like, Zodi Necros, the effect that each piece gave, like, Necros. Like, I remember that. So, yeah, he had 2600 because he ended up getting attacked by some other monster early in the game. So he took the 14 damage from the, from the Zodi Necros attack in his Force Raider. So then, like, maybe... It, the duel was very, very short. Only, like, three turns. But then he did this, um, soul demolition. He got rid of... All five pieces, so from that 26, he went down to 100 and was able to overcome and beat you know, go Okay. With Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, he did good. He did good. Obviously, you got about half the points, right? You got about five. You know, maybe not all the way, but you're getting there. It's getting harder. The first one you do. Oh, uh, uh, like I said, I, I, when it comes down to it, it's like this is probably my least cared about season. Really? I love season four. Battle City's pretty good. I'm pretty, you know, experienced with it. Like, like, the only other one I could probably say I know probably the least amount of shit is probably, like, Dawn of the Duel. Battle Dawn of the Duel? The final one. That's the one, like, when they're in Egypt. Yeah, Egypt yeah. versus okay. Even the one, like, the, the Grand Prix, like, even that one I'm very, like, unfamiliar with. Like, it yeah, asked me stuff. So you really only know season one and season four. One, two, and four are, like, my definitive ones that I know. So that's your mount. That is your Mount Rushmore of Yu-Gi-Oh! seasons. Yes. Because oh. those, I feel like, are the best. Mm. I love season four because I love the seal of Arcanacos, even if it's fucking filler. And Battle City is, like, unanimously, like, very popular and like, and the first is the first. Like, everyone loves that. Well, maybe you should take some of those series and try to ask me questions about them. If I ask you questions, I think I would ask you, I think I would ask, honestly, decent questions, and I feel like you would No, no, I would know. I'm watching the show now. I would know. I would know. I'm watching the show actively. Like as you said, I just finished that season because I wanted to do that one specifically because I wanted to go somewhere random that we wouldn't just like assume where I was going next. But like I like, what was the first monster that Joey Wheeler summoned against my faced his like faced her harpy lady with? How about this in that very first ever duel? Yeah, one? that one. See, I didn't get to that season. How tall is Pegasus? See, when I asked how tall is Pegasus well, 6'3"? No. 6'2". I don't know. <laughs> Fuck you, man. This is really... What two pieces of Exodia did Joey get out of the water? It's, um... Wrong. Like... Wrong. <laughs> Phone question. You don't see the cards, so you don't even know. <laughs> I... Instant loss. <laughs> Didn't he say... Hey, you only got these two cards. Yeah, but you never see the ones. I thought they showed them. No, they don't. Arm. No, wrong. Wrong queen, mama. Finish your video. Don't well, forget to like the video. 400 likes would be the goal. Don't forget to Somebody did Instagram. send me Check questions. Check me out on the ball game. Check out my Insta. Somebody did send me questions, and that's going to be the next video. Next time we film, I'm going to ask you. You know some dude hit me up on the Instagram. He's like, I have uh, some... Uh, fan made cards for, for Spidey I'm going to send them here and then I saw that and I was like you'll never <laughs> see the light in the bank you'll never see I, I know you sent me I'm like thank you for sending them I'm like you'll never see the light in the bank was it the same ones or the pirate ones who knows <laughs> who knows you, 
Tell you who doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> all right. Discord server, um, all of that type of stuff. Comment it down below. Right. Message me on Instagram for any type of question you want me to send him and answers. And I'll see you guys in the next one, two previous videos. Bye. Uh, one more video.